Well, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be comparing two of my VCRs. So there is a Panasonic and a Mitsubishi VCRs. So this one is my Panasonic Omnivision VCR with uh, the G deck mechanism. And uh, these two VCRs, I find the mechanisms uh, quite similar. So I'm going to compare them, the mechanisms. This Mitsubishi. Uh, the model number is HSU51 and this Panasonic the model number is not written on the front but it's written on the back and uh, these two VCRs are from 1989 and uh, th these two VCRs are uh, Hi-Fi stereo VCRs and uh, yeah, the, the mechanisms uh, are very similar, so I'm going to compare to compare them. So we're going to insert the tape and load it, and we will we will eject it. And since this is an old VCR, you have to press play for the tape to load. And well, this VCR is from from the same year, but you don't need to to press play. The tape loads instantly in the, this VCR. But on this one, you uh, you press play. This mechanism is very uh, quiet and uh, it does a uh, clicking sound due to a uh, solenoid in it. And uh, this Mitsubishi, my favorite mechanism. I think I like it uh, like as much as this one, the K mechanism. This mechanism is very nice. And uh, yeah, as I said, they, these two mechanisms look uh, very similar. As you can see, the two VCRs uh, have a pinch roller that goes down with a cam elevator mechanism, which is uh, located on a shaft besides the the shaft where the pinch roller is held. As you can see, the pinch roller assembly is a uh, is mounted on, on this shaft, and there is another shaft uh, next to it with uh, the 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 cam elevator gear uh, placed uh, on it, and it's the same thing on this Mitsubishi. So there are some mechanisms with a, a pinch roller that goes down, but uh, the cam elevator gear is uh, located just behind the, on the same shaft and behind the pinch roller assembly. And uh, on these two VCRs, it's located uh, on a, a shaft uh, the right of it, which I find pretty interesting. So uh, yeah, the, that pinch roller assembly is uh, similar on the two VCRs, and there there is even that part where the the elevator gear, uh, like it is driving this gear here, and that gear drive uh, a cam gear behind the, the mechanism, and I think it's basically the same thing here. As you can see, the pinch roller elevator gear drives this uh, gear, and this uh, gear drives a cam gear on the bottom side, and uh, there is a, a small cam gear that you can see here, but uh, that gear is uh, not uh, connected to this one. This gear is driving the uh, cassette carriage mechanism, which is uh, here, that, that metal gear. So this is pretty interesting, this gear is made of metal. This is not common for VCRs, and uh, my, my Panasonic VCR with the, the K-Deck mechanism also has a cam gear located around there, and has uh, that kind of metal gear for the ejecting mechanism. So this is the G, the G mechanism, so uh, it, it uses only the capstan motor to drive uh, all the functions uh, on this mechanism and uh, here there is a sound light that uh, changes the position of the mechanism to uh, like put the loading mechanism in contact with the capstan motor mechanism so this is the sound light that does the clicking sound that is uh, pretty interesting and uh, this Mitsubishi VCR also uses a solenoid but uh, the solenoid is for the brake system and not a uh, not for the like the loading mechanism and uh, these two me mechanisms as you can see it uses the same material 
for the mechanism, which I find to be uh, pretty interesting. It's like an aluminum uh, die cast uh, mechanism chassis. An aluminum die cast uh, chassis, so the, the, that's quite interesting. And also here, the, this uh, half loading arm. This arm places the tape just behind the here the controller here. And uh, this arm uh, is driven by this plastic, this plastic piece here, the white one. And that white plastic piece is driven by that uh, cam elevator gear. And it is the same exact thing on this Mitsubishi VCR. As you can see, it's right there. And uh, here, even from the top side, there are some uh, cam gears that you can see. Here, there's one that you uh, you can also see rota rotating when the the tape is inserting. And there, the, there's this one that only rotates when the the cassette carriage mechanism is uh, activated. You can also see here the places where the, these cam gears are are held, are attached. So yeah, there, there are these gears that you can see, and uh, here you can also see uh, a few cam gears. You can see uh, one that is uh, just here, just here in the middle of the screen. There is a cam gear, and you can see the here the middle, the center where where this gear uh, is uh, attached. And so all these are similarities between uh, these two mechanisms. And uh, here there is uh, this loading arm. This arm here, I don't really know what is the point of it. It uh, just um, moves in that direction. Uh, and I don't really know what is the point of this arm. It is also not present uh, on this uh, G mechanism. And, uh, yeah, th this, gear, you, this gear you can see, uh, you can see it turning. This one, as you can see, it will not turn when the cassette will be inserting, but it will turn during the the process of loading the tape around the head. So that gear rotating is pretty interesting. And one thing that is also special on this VCR is that the mode switch is located here on the top side so this is very unusual to have a mode switch located there usually it's on the bottom side so you can see that mechanism turning you could see it turning when I inserted and ejected the cassette Very similar mechanism for the, the that elevates the pinch roller. So yeah, this one I use a regular loading motor located here, and this uh, this motor does not eject the cassette. The capstan motor ejects the cassette on this uh, Mitsubishi VCR, and it uses uh, there on the bottom side. There's a series of gears that goes from the middle to here. And uh, it's driving a warm gear that is placed vertically just uh, behind there. And uh, that uh, warm gear drives this, uh, this gear placed vertically here. And I think if you turn the camera you can actually see uh, that, uh, that warm gear. It's like uh, near here. I think you can see it. And also the construction of these two VCRs is uh, different. Here there is a separate power supply. It's located here on the back with a, a transformer. An old fashioned uh, transformer like in uh, most of uh, 80s VCRs. With here the, capac the capacitors and you can see also uh, a fuse here and uh, there's another one there. I think. Not sure, is there another one? Another fuse? Well, actually, there's not. Okay, and here, 
Uh, yeah, the circuit board, the main circuit board is located here on the right side, and here is located on the top side, just above the mechanism. But you can raise it up so you can see the mechanism. And uh, here the, there is a power supply, and uh, well, it's uh, quite different. It uses a small transformer. We can see it here. It's uh, just in the yeah, just in the middle of the screen. There is a transformer. It's in the, it's it's smaller. I think this is a different type of power supply. And apparently, I, th I think the, those are like uh, less reliable. I've had a uh, Panasonic that looked uh, uh, about like this, and it had the GDEC2, and uh, it had a power supply problem. It didn't uh, power on. And uh, well, uh, uh, this this Mitsubishi VCR power supply, um, I think it's uh, common to fail because uh, I've had a Mitsubishi HSU52 one digit off uh, from this model. It had a power supply problem and uh, it didn't turn on and the power supply was burning when I was plugging it. And also I have another one here which is a, a, a European VCR, my Mitsubishi here from uh, from Spain. And, uh, this VCR has a power supply problem when I plug it. Uh, yeah, first I don't have um, any uh, power source for uh, like a 200 to default but uh, when, I power, when I plugged it uh, in Spain well uh, it it uh, powered on, but uh, like the mechanism didn't want to work. Like, I think yeah, it, it uh, instantly turned off when I powered it on, so it just did not work. Did not really power on. A capacitor problem maybe. And well, maybe it's a common problem on Mitsubishi VCRs because uh, yeah, here there is another Mitsubishi from 19, uh, 1985 with a different mechanism, older one, high stereo VCR, which is very. Uh, Special from a VCR from 1985. This was from the like the very early times of uh, the stereo VCRs, and that one has a power supply problem too. It uh, it turns on the display turns on, but it uh, display like e e e e on the display when it's turned on. So I don't know what to do, what I can do with the, the, the that that Mitsubishi over there. And then uh, we're, I think we're going to see the rewind speed. So that is, that is not so fast no, because it's a vintage 80s VCR. And uh, yeah, when, when the tape is on, uh, the VCR is on stop position, on stop mode, the tape is loaded uh, here just behind the pinch roller. I don't know why, really why it loads it there instead of uh, just letting it uh, in the cassette. And uh, if you press run, you can see on this VCR it does not unload the tape. And I think it, rem it runs a bit faster than, than the Panasonic. So, uh, for it being a uh, ADS VCR, it is uh, quite fast, but it's 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 a like a regular speed from uh, for an ADS VCR. It's not fast because it's an ADS VCR, but I think it's like faster than average. And there's a solenoid. You can hear it. You can hear that uh, clicking sound when the tape stops rewinding. It will break the mechanism. Like uh, the mac the brake uh, system will activate. You can hear it. There's a solenoid that does that, and on this VCR, when you power off, it will unload the tape, and it remains uh, loaded in there for some reason. Very nice mechanism. I love it. So now here we have the bottom side of the two VCRs. And yes, now the Mitsubishi is at the, the right and the Panasonic is at the left. So they are opposite from uh, what it was earlier. But uh, the, the mechanisms look uh, somewhat similar. But uh, yeah, they, they are somewhat similar, but they, they look different at uh, the look. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see here, there is a, uh, that circuit board on the bottom side, and the, the, the Panasonic VCR does not have that circuit board. And uh, it has gears that. Uh, 
or at uh, different uh, locations. But uh, we can uh, see uh, some similar parts, like uh, as you can see, metal. There are metal uh, sliding plates just here, and you can see the gears from the further idler. And uh, here, my uh, metal sliding plates too. And uh, you can see that metal sliding plate is driven driven by this metal part, which uh, is driven by this cam gear. And there's the same thing on this Mitsubishi, this uh, metal sliding plate, there are two uh, of them and they are driven by uh, the same kind of metal part as this, but uh, that part is on the top side. And uh, you saw earlier that uh, the mode switch on the Panasonic is on the top side, just uh, me, me hand, just uh, next to the pinch roller. And here it's on the bottom side, it's here, and just like in the Panasonic VCR it is uh, soldered like this, so uh, if you ever want to uh, clean this you, uh, you want to solder it. But a uh, good good thing this is this is not my case. I do I do not need to uh, uh, unsolder this. And uh, well, uh, that part, the, this is uh, what's uh, the most common on the two the two the two VCRs. Here, there is this, this metal part that is driven by this cam gear and is driving the these two gears, this gear and uh, that one for the the tape guides. As you can see, they are the tape guides are attached with these two arms here. And here there is like exactly the same thing. This metal piece, a cam gear just behind there, behind the circuit board, you can see it a bit. And it's driving that metal part that drives the two gears. So this this looks uh, a lot similar on the two VCRs. So that's quite, that's quite interesting. And I really like the the bottom side of this Mitsubishi. It uh, the bottom side looks very nice too. And here they are. Uh, here's a series of gears that uh, goes uh, to here. And they will use uh, like on this piece. And uh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, they will turn while the cassette will be inserting, which I find pretty interesting. And I find that uh, pretty interesting the these gears, these cam gears that you can see turning. And uh, there are there are actually two cam gears, which is uh, very interesting. There's one here and one here. It's very interesting that it's like a double cam gear mechanism. So yeah, what's pretty cool on these two mechanisms is that there are there are a lot of uh, like uh, round gears like this, circle gears. Yeah, some VCRs I have um, on on some VCR mechanisms there are like uh, less uh, round gears and uh, more like sliding pieces. This is very nice. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't want to enter when the VCR is upside down because it, like it doesn't fall correctly. So I'm going to try to get it to enter. So that's gonna be pretty hard to do. So I got it to enter, though. I just uh, have to push it. I just had to push it up like this, and uh, as you can see, this this cam gear is not turning when the tape is inserting, and there's a cam gear that is uh, right under it, and the, this is the yeah as you can see there are like two layers of gears and the the cam gear that is under it uh, turns when the cassette is inserting, so uh, that's a very special uh, type of mechanism. And uh, since there are a lot of cam gears, uh, this is uh, very hard to uh, to realign if the mechanism ever gets uh, trouble or gets me misaligned. So uh, that's what that's what uh, that's what all people say that uh, this VCR is a nightmare to uh, to repair if uh, anything goes wrong. And uh, at least I didn't have to do anything for this VCR to work. Now we will press play. Right now it's playing uh, in uh, EP speed. Fast forward, and uh, if you press the play button, it will play uh, with a uh, uh, times two speed. 
Right now it's playing uh, two times the normal speed. And right now regular play. Pause. So this VCR is very uh, cool looking uh, on the bottom side. And here is that a uh, very interesting part, uh, similar to the Mitsubishi. So yeah, the Mitsubishi. Uh, uh, it also has a uh, multiple cam gears, uh, similar to that one. Yeah, there, there are one. There's one here, one here, and there, there's the mode switch, and uh, here's the. The gear that is located between the pinch roller elevator gear and the cam gear on the bottom. And uh, just, there's the same exact thing here in this Panasonic. So these two, uh, the cam gears, uh, the cam gear that is here uh, is very similar to that one in the Mitsubishi. Right here you can see it, it's uh, located under the circuit board. Very interesting. Very interesting, this looks a lot similar to the Panasonic. And now we'll see the, the, sli the sliding plates. They move when you press uh, rewind or press forward. So this is also a, pre a pretty complicated mechanism. So there are two of them that move, and here there are two uh, adler gear mechanisms, very interesting. And now we will see uh, what, uh, how it moves in here when, we, when you press rewind or press forward. Let's see if it actually looks similar. So uh, here there, I think there is only one sliding plate. Or is there two? I don't know. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, there, there's two layers of uh, sliding plates. And uh, yeah, when you enter the uh, rewind or fast forward, they, they move a uh, similar, uh, similar way. Pretty interesting. So here's the part that uh, makes the contact between the loading gears and the capstan motor mechanism. And uh, here, here there's that part that is driven by the solenoid. So this is a very complicated mechanism. Oh yeah, that gear, that gear looks uh, quite complicated uh, with two layers of uh, cam gear. Very, very special. Yeah, here there is a huge pulley, and uh, here is a small. That's one difference. And then, uh, yeah, here is differently. It, it uses a spring mechanism to insert and eject the, the tape. Yes, the, the ejecting mechanism is a lot similar to the K mechanism, which is found in this VCR here. And now, yeah, the back of the VCR, the model PV4942K, and uh, the manufacturing date, uh, June 16, 1989. And yeah. Like a stereo uh, audio input. This is a Hi Fi VCR. The Mitsubishi is a Hi Fi 2. And uh, yeah, there are two audio out, which is quite interesting. Maybe if you want to uh, plug it to uh, a sound system or anything. So, yeah, those were two uh, very interesting VCRs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
Oh, there's something I completely forgot to talk about. The, that solenoid uh, in this Mitsubishi. It's, it, it's not actually a solenoid, it's more like an, uh, it's a, it's an electromagnet. And like in this Panasonic, it's a solenoid with a shaft that uh, goes for, uh, like, uh, forward and backward. And uh, on, on this one, it's just an electromagnet. And as you can see, when you press rewind, it's located just under here. As you can see, when I press rewind, it activates, and when I press stop, this thing you can see it, it is engaging. This is what activates the the brake mechanism on this uh, on this VCR when you press stop. And uh, this is a very common uh, system. Like uh, uh, many VCR mechanisms uh, have something like this. Like uh, my NEC here has uh, that thing. This Emerson, I think it has one. And also there is this. This Emerson here, this one has a mechanism like that. This sharp has a an electromagnet like this. So this is a very common thing on the VCR mechanisms.